Does your dog run away at the sight of their harness? In this video, I'm going to go over how to get your pup to love their harness, so stay tuned. For the best dog training and product advice, be sure to hit subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video every Wednesday. And for those of you who don't know me, I am a certified dog trainer and I have trained hundreds and hundreds of dogs and puppies and I love sharing my advice with all of you. Okay, so let's get into step by step exactly how to get your pup to love their harness. Step one is to break the current cycle of this behavior. Well, what does that mean? What this means is that your pup has currently built an association between the harness coming out of the cupboard and getting into the harness, which they don't like. Our job is to break this association. What you can do is store the harness in another cupboard or maybe get it out while they're about to eat. Anything you can do so the sight of the harness no longer scares them. And what is scary for them right now is putting on the harness. So we wanna break that cycle, that behavior cycle that they've created. Step Step two is to desensitize the click of the buckle on the harness. So a lot of dogs don't like this click happening super close to their ear, um, in addition to the harness going over their head, but we'll cover that in a little bit. But first, let's just associate that click of the harness with a treat. So you're just gonna repeat that multiple times, just like you would if you were starting to use a clicker for training. And you'll know that this has been conditioned to be a good thing when you click the click of the harness and they don't run away. And to be clear, you are not putting it on them, you're just clicking it next to them, maybe slowly working it closer to their face, but not actually putting it on them. Step three is to teach a nose target on the harness. So you're gonna teach your pup to gently bump the harness with their nose. If they don't wanna do this, no worries. Just start marking and rewarding for any association with the harness. So maybe just looking at the harness, looking in the direction of the harness and then slowly working your way up to that nose touch. It's important that we don't bring the harness to them, that we just hold still and wait for them to bump the harness. Now the last and final step is to teach your pup to bring their head through the harness. Once again, it's important not to pressure our pups to do this. We're supposed to be taking this really, really slow. And if we speed it up too much, then we actually might cause more damage than good and we might have to start all over again. So the whole point of this is to really build trust between you with the harness and their association with the harness. All right, so if you have more questions about training common behavior issues, then I encourage you to download my Ultimate Good Dog Blueprint. You can download that below. I also have a Possum Parents Facebook group if you'd like to join and connect with other like-minded pup parents. If you found this video helpful, be sure to leave me the comment helpful below for some positive reinforcement for me. And be sure to like this video too if you liked it. It helps out my channel a lot. All right, everyone, thank you so much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.